In the previous video, I showed you how to use named ranges. They're really nice to use because it makes it a lot easier to read your formulas. However, there is still an open challenge because we want to be able to add new teachers to our worksheet without having to update either the formulas or the named range. So I would like to add, for instance, myself, I'm going to moonlight as a dance teacher, but I want those formulas to be updated automatically. And our current solution of using an entire column as a named range is actually no good because it blocks all of the cells underneath the data. So in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative solution that will address both of these problems. We can select our data, let me remove myself, I will re-add myself later, and then we can select all the data in our worksheet, and we can insert a data table, insert table, right there. And then Excel asks us to select what data we would like in the data table, and also whether or not our data has headers, whether the first line describes what the data means. And first of all, we get this nice little visualization now on top of our data, but also what has happened is that all of these columns are automatically turned into something like named ranges, labeled by the first line, labeled by the headers. So we can use that in our formula. We can say we want to count table one, and then we get all of the columns in our table. We want to have table one maximum level, and now the formula works. And if we add another teacher to our roster, let me re-add myself as a dance teacher, you see that little corner thingy over there is going down with the table, and that shows where the table ends. So as soon as you enter a new row into the table, the table is extended, and you don't have to update the named range. So let me add another teacher to show you that that little table thingy, the corner edge, is showing you where the table ends. So this is a solution that looks really nice. We have all the benefit of named ranges. However, we don't have to change anything in case we're adding teachers. But there's one thing that's super ugly. Actually, I hope you have been shouting at your computer screens again. Oh no, I don't like the name of that table. How can you have a video about named ranges? Names with a table that's called table one. That is crazy. You are right, my friend, that is crazy. Let's immediately change the name of the table because this is super ugly. We can do that, as I showed you in the previous video, with the name manager. But there is another solution as well to get rid of that ugly table one. If we go back to the teacher's worksheet and select the data table, we get an additional tab in the ribbon. And there, we can easily change our table without selecting anything. And you see that within the formulas, now also we get table teachers instead of table one. We don't have to update anything. And there's more we can do in this ribbon tab. For instance, we can add slicers. This is really like a filter. You see the logo is similar to a filter, but it's more interactive. You can click all the tariffs you want, and the data table will update automatically. So this is a nice little way, if you have changed your data into a data table, to interactively play with what is in your data set. And I encourage you, this is not really an exercise, but I encourage you to download this spreadsheet from our course page and to play with everything that's there because the data table allows for a lot of playing. You can change the markup, you can add total columns or total rows. So download this spreadsheet and play with it because it's really, really nice to work with data tables. See you in the next video.